Sekejap Halo, halo, halo Halo, Tess, halo Halo Halo, halo. Kau okay, muka worried Hey, what's going on guys? Arif Floating Collector here uh, Today is going to be a... Um, I'm planning to do a, a very special episode of the Viewpoint. This is uh, the episode number seven of the Viewpoint. Um, this is a very special thing because I have uh, a friend of mine, a very close friend of mine. His, uh, his name is Wan from Cosmic Fury. Uh, a little shout out for him. Uh, do check out his channel called, called, um, called Cosmic Fury. <laughs> <laughs> He does reviews, uh, mostly Hot Toys uh, figures and as well as comics and he goes to a convention and Star Wars convention all that. It's a very interesting channel so do check him out. Um, the link will be provided in the description box so have a look. As you guys can see this is uh, the Predator Cinema Cat. The only reason why I brought this guy out is because to have um, some sort like a viewpoint from one because he collects hot toys figures so i need to hear his um his expertise when it comes to um hot toys and compare it to uh statues because he is not really familiar with statues and uh, this is a great opportunity for him to really look at one and giving uh, this uh, predator cinema cat a rundown. So um, let's welcome one to the screen. Hi. There you go. Thank you. For All right. Me. Welcome, man. Welcome, welcome. Right, Have man. a seat, please, bro. All right. Before before I start, I just want to say thank you to one again from Cosmic Fury for lending his awesome video camera. Is it your video camera or? Yeah, it is. Uh, actually, to be honest, I'm trying to poison him as much as possible, trying to get this Canon G Seven X because it's. It's, it's been, awesome. Man. Yeah, he's been doing uh, really awesome, performing really well on my channel. So I'm trying to my very best to uh, trying him uh, like for him to get one because uh, <laughs> the video quality is really good. So yeah, I mean he's doing his viewpoint, and I am loving the show so far. This is the only video you're going to see <laughs> from viewpoint that it's super fucking clear because uh, this is his camera. Obviously, maybe after this episode, it's gonna be back to. Uh, mm -hmm. The shitty, <laughs> oversaturated so, video. So yeah, I I, I wanted him to to have um like the since he gracefully uh, asked me to come over, so I like okay, why not I just put up the camera and let him have fun with it. It's an awesome thing. Plus, he invited me on viewpoint. Yes. Again, guys, don't forget to check out one from Cosmic Fury. So it's. It will be in the description box, so do check it out. What I have for you here mm. is the uh, Predator Cinema Cat. This piece is long sold out. Um, it goes for a stupid fucking crazy amount right now, mm. which I think is really ridiculous. My luck, I have this piece for just above retail. First, tell me about yourself and your collection, and after that, we move on to... Alright, so mostly, most of my collection uh, is um, all of it uh, one six or six scale figures. Uh, there's no statues yet because um, I still have to figure out my space issue. Uh, it happens uh, to all collectors in the world. Uh, space issue uh, always a nightmare. But um, okay, right now uh, mostly I'm trying to like, um, I would say streamline my stuff. Mostly focus on Star Wars and maybe you want to like sci-fi stuff um, I have uh, a bunch of Star Wars uh, a bunch of uh, Predator lines I was late to the collecting game so there's no um, alien figures yet but I see there are hopes in the horizon for the recent Hot Toys announcement so there's a big chap I think going to There's be. a new big chap uh, I saw somebody post a picture hopefully it's some new stuff so I'm pretty hopeful but I have to recheck the sources if it if there is a re-release on the big chat, please take my money, please. I don't even know there's new big chat. Uh, so I, I saw a post on Facebook, but then again, always uh, take a grain of salt on Facebook. So I gotta recheck my sources on, on that. Mm -hmm. But um, plus the replay figure, damn. It, we, Hot toys replay. Yeah, yeah we, we saw that on the convention, the last convention. Uh, we did. Yeah, on the power loader. 
Did we took a video of it? Yeah, we did. Uh, there was the we went to the Hot Toys booth, and then there was the Ripley with the tiny cat. Oh. And, yeah, the Hot Toys figure. Was I happy with Ripley? Yeah, of course we were happy because oh. it was the closest thing to a Rip, uh Sigourney Weaver's face. Okay. So I uh, forgot about that. So yeah, remember that that video, the anime alien. Oh. Yeah. See? Oh, okay. So, so yeah, there, there was that. Yeah, like uh, mostly my figures are ranging from mostly Star Wars, then uh, Predators, and then a bunch of uh, Marvel stuff. But yeah, I'm going through a streamlined phase. Awesome. Uh, the Force Awakens did it to me. For my friends who collect statues, and you have friends that collect hot toys, do you go like, all right, bro? Do, when do you going to start collecting statues? Are you gonna quit collecting hot toys, or you gonna venture out to collecting statues? That's one of the question I asked one about it, but somewhat he didn't give me a very fixed answer. So, uh, what is actually your plan? All right, because I don't wanna promise anybody anything. First and foremost, I. Before any decision making, whether I wanna like um, venture into statues or quit this or start start a new hobby that kind of thing, mm -hmm. I have to make sure I need to promise myself first. Is this something which I wanna dedicate? I can't go around and say like, hey, I'm gonna start doing this, and then a year later still not doing it. So I have to be really sure that I wanna because statue. I understand the amount of time, the investment in in financial or that kind of thing, the investment. It's miles different from collecting uh, figures like six scale figures, all that stuff. So I have to really find the real dedication to actually venture into that because I can't just like jump the gun and then I was like, hey, this is actually causing more problems than what I already have, you know, that kind of thing. So yeah. uh, I mean, because me and Arif, we been collecting for quite a number of years now. So like cheekily, I would say, yeah, hey, I'm gonna like do this, but I know deep down in my heart. It's not a time yet, you know. I just don't want to get into it just to impress him or anybody. So like, um, do it, do it right. You know, just uh, don't do empty promises, especially to yourself. When it comes to collecting, please bear in mind that financial is very very important. Even if you collect hot toys or whatever, this guy said at one time, um, he gonna he gonna buy one hot toy per month. But as I know, maybe I collect. I collect first, then he started out later than me. I know that feeling is not true. Because <laughs> uh, I've been there before, I do collect hot toys back in the day, and I I, I say the same thing to myself. Uh, Arif, I think you're going to collect just one per month. But in the end, I end up with four or five per month. So, please be aware of your... Every new collector does this. Very new to this, and they are so excited and the adrenaline rush doesn't stop them. As time goes by, you tend to learn along the way and start slowing down and buy what you really love and not just like. That much is very true. Like, um, who, who, who am I kidding? <laughs> the first figure I ever uh, got was a sideshow figure. It was a storm. Uh, it was a clone trooper sergeant. Um, so it was a, uh, a sideshow figure. So basically, I started with that because I saw it was Actually, because of him, I blame him mostly of why I started collecting what I did. Years ago, he didn't start out on a statue. I, I knew he was starting on like um, all those hot toys and stuff. So I was like um, telling myself, hey, you know, I probably can try this and see how it goes. And yeah, like one figure led to another and then it... it uh, <laughs> yeah, so. But then again, it, we, we enjoy mm. collecting. Mm. That That's what matters the most because uh, some people collect just to impress other people, that is really a huge no. Because I've seen collectors that who bought stuff just to review and that's about it and they sell it the next day. There is one particular video I still have not seen him deleted yet, I want, I wish. Which one? The one you said you want to quit. Should I delete that video? Yeah, I advised him many times. But it's for memory's sake, it's yeah. like... If he were to do it again, I'll probably I slap him. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it, it happens you know, sometimes. Like I, I, pro I definitely understand why you did it at the time, but um, mm. but I wish you deleted it like now. But uh, yeah. but it's his channel, so we'll see if I, I if I if I decide to delete that quitting video of mine. But it, it kind of 
maybe five years from now it's good to look back with uh, to see all your sufferings and all your sacrifices and all that it's pretty embarrassing in that video actually because uh the following week or the next two weeks i start collecting yeah video, so. how pointless that video was is how pointless this grass is as well. <laughs> that video received a lot of views yeah. and uh, a lot of hate as well and then, the, and then the thing about that video is that people actually you know like felt for you they were sad you made people sad so they need to understand this shit is serious. Yeah. It's, it's a hobby, it's a fun hobby, but in the end it becomes your life. It's like, which is a huge no. Okay, remember the <coughs> uh, anyway, like uh, I wanna ask like um, what scale is this guy? Where's this guy? Alright, um okay, this is the Predator Cinema Care. This is one third scale. This is one third scale. One third scale. He stands about thirty one inches tall? No, I wish I, I had my ruler right now, so... Yeah, he's about 31 inches tall. It, it's, it's a very old piece. I've already made a review of this. Um, like I said again, the reason I brought this guy out is just to see Irwan's point of view on statues. Uh, this is pretty new to him. So, it will be great to see what other collectors, not statue collectors, point of view about this one. Presence of this guy, I mean, he's, he's like a... He's like a two-year-old child, you know, he's huge. Like, uh, we, we didn't record the unboxing video, so there was a point where uh, I, me and Arif were trying to put him on a base. So I kind of like a little bit hugged him. He really felt like a small child. He's huge. Uh, but uh, as compared to the other pieces Arif has in his collection, uh, this is the heaviest one yet. So like, um, I'm not even talking about the base, the base is a lot heavier but the body itself, whew, it's like a fat child. <laughs> you, you've carried a fat child before? Uh, one or twice, wasn't pleasant, but because uh, <laughs> I'm a small dude, so <laughs> since I myself quite fond of the Predator franchise, this guy is dope ass, man. Okay, because you are familiar with... Uh... What the six scale figure way, whereby you can post them, whatever, blah blah blah, mm -hmm. um, to get your own liking to that figure. But as for statue, it remains just stationary like this, mm -hmm. and you can't really post them except for some statues you have switchable parts. Mm -hmm. So what do you think as compared to Hot Toys? If you have the, you can post them and this one remains stationary. What do you think? Alright, I think in, in a previous, uh, uh, in another video, we did uh, talk about this like, um, because um, statues are stagnant, they don't have any movable parts, maybe movable pieces, but uh, for 6 scale or 1 6 scale figures, they are definitely articulated, I mean, like more articulated. Mm -hmm. So like, um, this statue is, um, his pose basically makes or break kind of like, um, um, the art angle, whatever you want to call it, but um, it's pretty simple. I guess the the pose does it all. You know, it's simple but has a presence. It's menacing, and despite all this, I'm really impressed at his face. Like there are there are certain angles which um like um, the mandibles and the eyes. It, it it's like looking down, like. How would I put it is like um, the winning pose is that this guy is a sci-fi creature and is out to get you. So anything that a pose which instills like trying to eclipse you mm -hmm. is winning, especially for a monster. Like you can't have a monster like looking out. Like. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's um it drops the ball. Right? So mm -hmm. yeah, like I said uh, to one about <coughs> poses, um, certain characters. When it when it comes to dynamic poses, I know the Wolf Predator has legendary skill figure has really dynamic pose. It looks really good. Don't get me wrong, but to me personally, I would prefer a museum kind of stance. I guess it's way more intimidating mm. to me. That that's me personally, because um, when you tend to go overboard with poses, it, it tends to be okay. I get it. It's a really dynamic pose, and that's about it. Yeah, that's about the 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 pose that I love about this piece. It's just simple. It's simple, mm. and it's it's just how simple it is and how intimidating it is. It it's really hard to execute that. But as for these pieces, but for that wolf, um, figure, I mean, it's got the the, the bit, I think, like 
Mm. Like, the head sculpt is amazing. The, the whole pose is amazing actually. But uh, I don't know, maybe I'm very nitpicky. The paint is quite flat to me, mm. in my opinion. Because... Uh, what, this guy or wolf? The wolf. Ah, okay. But it's, it is an amazing piece. I had that piece, but I, I sold it. So. Mm. How much did this guy cost? Um, retail at the time. Retail, retail was, correct me if I'm wrong, it's probably 2,500 USD. So right now, aftermarket is? Aftermarket, you can find it about, I don't know, 4,000 euro. Oh my god. Or 5,000 euro. Even in Singapore, there's a seller in Singapore, if you're watching this video, please revise your fucking price. He listed ten thousand oh dollars in Singapore. That's about a thousand sing. Sing Singapore. That's but that's about eight thousand USD, right? That's like eight months of my salary. Right? <laughs> oh my God. Maybe I should message the guy and bro, calm down with the price. Yeah, but, like um, ten thousand. Wow, that's, that's a lot of money, man. It's insane, man. I mean, this is long so loud, and mm. some of the collectors, you must know this that um. Some of the collectors doesn't like this piece. Mm. That is because the face sculpt is not accurate. It's it's it's, it's not it's, it doesn't follow the uh, the movie style. This is more like a stylized version. This is what Steve Wang. If you, if you guys don't know who Steve Wang is, he's the one who um, create the uh, the the costume for the Predator movie, the okay. first Predator. Okay. He's the one who created it. And but then again, he told us way beforehand that this is this is not the accurate predator. This is a stylized version. <coughs> if he ever go back and revisit revisited the uh, the the old movie, the Predator one, this will be it. We can only hope he revisited the the movie again, as we know that the new Predator movie is coming out, right? Mm, yeah, so, so I'm not sure if he's gonna stick to his words using this kind of uh, um, face sculpt but uh, we'll see how that goes yeah about that like um, the thing that you mentioned I, I did wanted to talk to you about it like since we are doing the viewpoint I think uh, the question is like um, about stylized version and the original let see of mm. the, the thing like I know what this guy is uh, I know what it represents. It represents the predator. So, in terms of talking about like accuracy, um, is it a, a big factor? In, like, to me, for statue collectors, accuracy. Yeah, uh, like, I mean, I mean, it's not that far off that I don't know who he looks like, yeah. but I know he represents something, which is the predator, mm -hmm. and this is definitely the P one predator. And collectors have different sets of eyes and mm -hmm. some collectors are really screen accuracy horse. <laughs> they won't buy a piece if, I if it's a little <laughs> I've never used that. a little <laughs> different. Maybe his fingernails are one cm longer, <laughs> they won't buy it. I'm gonna tell you guys you will never get a screen accuracy piece because every movie they don't have just one suit or just one uh face mask or whatever they have multiple shit so how can you just judge a piece whether it's accurate or not every time every time on facebook regardless if it's a statue group or a hot toy group it happens a lot people nitpick just about the tiniest thing i mean i'm fine nitpicking is part of the hobby but to the point of like i'm not gonna buy that because he has two fingers instead of five like <laughs> sometimes we have we have to be grateful that um, yeah. there's at least a predator statue out there. Yeah. Even if it's not that accurate. I, I mean, if you have the mandibles here <laughs> and suddenly there's another six extra mandibles, <laughs> then everyone will get peace. I will yeah. get peace, but like one said, you look at this guy, you know who he is. He's yeah. the predator, right? As, as far as the nameplate goes, I'm not really fond of it because it kind of tell. It's like telling me that you have to remember this is the predator. <laughs> so <laughs> this is not really important to me. But yeah. then again, minus this aside, the base is just mm. a piece of art itself. So. It happens all the time. It's still happening now. I think like, it ha it will happen forever. till the day we die, bro. 
I don't know, like, um, just calm down. I, I, I just feel like, just calm down. But I understand why they're being so nitpicky because this piece is so expensive. Lot, yeah. like, and they want really every penny correct. value. Like, correct. yeah, and, uh, totally understand. I do understand that, but to those nitpicks on the slightest thing, you guys need to stop, really. Yeah. I swear, about the finger thing, I didn't make that up. I actually saw it for just like mind boggling. The instant question mark, like, ah, what? Fingernails? Why? <laughs> you have already talked about the figure. Let, let me know about the, uh, the weathering effect on this statue. Because I know Hot Toys does really great mm. weathering effect. So, what do you think of this, uh, the paint job and everything? Okay. As compared to Hot Toys. From what I have um, gone through so far, weathering out of all of my collection, the best company that does the best weathering effect, I have to hand it to 3A. Mm. Because yeah. Hot Toys is not even close to the weathering effect because the amount of effort being done in 3A, like wow, you can actually feel the weathering. Like if you don't wear gloves, your hands gonna turn brown. 3A, 3A releases like those cylindrical robots and all yeah. that. 3A, every company has their pros and cons and 3A, um, the plus point is definitely on the weathering effort they put into it. So Hot Toys is not even close. Mm -hmm. So, but if I were to compare, if Arif says Hot Toys, if compared to maybe um, this guy right here, um, okay, there are, this is my nitpick. Okay, so it may differ from uh, everybody else. Certain parts on this guy, especially um, the the whiter saturation or whiter part of the skin, is a little flat. So um, because Arif, uh, I'm not too sure whether he has plans to actually try to maybe get a few details in, like maybe a little repaint. I think not sure hmm. if you actually. It'll be interesting. Because uh, like um, head scalp, the face, I am digging it all the way. But there are certain areas here, maybe in the mouth, where um, probably can accentuate the, the veins if he were to actually venture out, maybe get a repaint. So, if the veins were to. Because right now, within the mandibles, it's also flat. It's like a pale pink right now. So, if it's possible to. Was it like this out of the box? Or? Yeah. Okay. He's like he's like um, malnourished right now, so <laughs> like uh, like probably a bit more pink and to accentuate the veins and stuff like yeah. that. So, but other than that, um, the I guess the the clothing I would I would say clothing the netting and uh, any clothing on this guy is um, is done pretty well. Um, the pose is great. The helmet detailing I think it's pretty decent. I guess uh, the scarf marks on and all this. Mm -hmm. So. The design is great, just the pin on the whiter areas uh, slightly flat. I think in terms of design, the head scout wins. Uh, it's winning for me, so... Then again, people st still bitch about it because one of the comments that I get about this piece is that they told me it looks like a bobble head. Bobble? It's like bigger than the body. Does it look really big? What, you guys never seen Funko yet? <laughs> <laughs> you want to compare Funko price and this? Oh my god. It doesn't really look bigger than the body, right? Uh, Does it? If you guys have seen uh, P2, the ending of the movie where they had uh, multiple predators, you, you try to see uh, this one predator actually has a bigger head than the body. So you want to compare that. Which, which predator is that? Uh, one of those like extra predators, you oh. know, before, before the elder. Because they, they had the reveal. Yeah. So, there is one predator where you see he's kind of like small body but a really big head. <laughs> Try to compare that to him. This guy is way in proportion. When you compare it on video or on pictures you see online, mm. you ha you really have to see this piece in person because it is totally different. It, trust me, it's very very different when you compare it from the pictures and the actual piece itself. So. I would suggest if you have the chance to visit your local store if this guy is still there <laughs> Please have a look because everything to me it looks proportionate Maybe it looks bigger in this video, I'm not too sure But in person it looks... Uh, yeah, I guess it's, the, it's the, the brow, how they, they like um, designed it, how they sculpted it So I think, because I'm, I'm into uh, toy photography so I, maybe I'm seeing it in my perspective so like uh, it brings kind of like a, a little bit of attitude to it, so I guess uh, that's a winning thing. 
Um, Alright guys, I just want to say um, thank you for viewing episode 7 of The Viewpoint. Um, I just want to say thank you to one from Cosmic Fury for heading down to my place and give his impression of this guy. And I hope you guys could learn something that even Hot Toys collectors or 1-6 scale collectors do appreciate. And don't get me wrong, I do appreciate 1-6 uh, figures as well. Because I used to collect them as uh, back then. Do check out Cosmic Fury. He's a very good friend of mine. Uh, we've been collecting together for quite a while now. And I'm still trying my best to make him step into the statue world. But uh, <laughs> once again, thanks for viewing. And please do subscribe, uh, share, like, do whatever the fuck you want, man. I'm gonna apologize once again. The next video is not gonna be as so awesome quality as this one because this is his video camera and I'll try my best to grab one you know Alright, I'll start a Kickstarter for Arif's new camera Alright guys, thanks. Peace! Peace.